Refugees from Syria who escaped their war-torn country are now living here in Texas. Their arrival last week sparked a huge debate with Governor Greg Abbott going to court to try to stop it, citing security concerns. Regardless of where you stand, one thing is clear. American taxpayers help pay for resettlement of these refugees. Channel 2 investigator Jace Larson is revealing how much is spent, and he's talking to people on both sides of the issue. They're refugees from Syria, celebrating their first Christmas here in America. Thank you for you uh, give it to me. I, I am happy you give it to me gift. But these families who arrived in Texas just more than a week ago are still stirring controversy. This is the most disastrous and dangerous situation I have ever seen. Regardless of whether you support or oppose refugees coming to Texas, Channel 2 Investigates found we are all paying for them to be settled here. Court records that we reviewed from Texas's unsuccessful push to stop refugees and our own research found your tax dollars cover about $2,100 in expenses for each refugee. We've resettled uh, refugees for many years, and the State Department has sponsored that for many years. It's not a new thing. The president and CEO of Houston's Interfaith Ministry says the controversy is blown out of proportion, and something must be done to help those fleeing persecution. One of our refugees reported that uh, a kidney was taken from them uh, in the country, that they were taken to a hospital, they were put under anesthesia, and the next day they found out they were missing a kidney because their kidney was harvested. Of the roughly $2,100 that the federal government gives nonprofits such as Interfaith Ministries, up to $900 of it goes to the agency for securing refugees a place to live, helping them become U.S. citizens, and find a job. The rest of it pays for an apartment, a stocked refrigerator when the refugees arrive, and English lessons. This is taxpayer money that funds this program. Is this money well spent? I think this money is very well spent. He points out refugees pass extensive background checks and usually wait 18 to 24 months before they're allowed in. Then they don't even get to choose where they end up. But there are those who don't want money spent to help Syrian refugees and feel threatened, like Texas Governor Greg Abbott. It is costing taxpayers money, uh, but two, it is endangering taxpayers. And, and there's never been uh, a more chaotic or crazy or idiotic approach uh, the federal government has ever taken to anything than what they are doing by insisting uh, on these refugees be located in the state of Texas or anywhere in the United States of America. So far, Abbott's push to stop refugees hasn't worked, and Kaminsky hopes it never does. He says the money is necessary to save lives. I believe that it's the bellwether of our, uh, our liberty and our uh, country to bring refugees, to welcome them, to help them get a start in life, and to be on their path to be productive citizens. Congress has authorized the United States to accept as many as 70,000 refugees each year. But if President Obama has his way, that number could jump to 85,000 next year and 100,000 in 2017. Jace Larson, KPRC Channel 2 News.